So a lot of people have been asking what happened to your two channels. <laughs> Blame Jacob and Caleb. <laughs> It worked. decided to take a break um, for ourselves because we needed it. Um, yeah, twin parent life is crazy. Like, you really just like working 24-7. Um, grandma and grandpa are working 24-7 right now. Grandpa working 24-7 right To now. give us a break. We needed so it. We were just talking a couple days ago that, you know, we need to, you know, reconnect and remember our love is number one. Um, well, now maybe number three. But yeah. The thing is, like, but still when, important. When you have kids, like, you just, like, put them number one. So when I get home, it's just, like, I just jumped into the babies. And, I mean, I say hi. Her name's up, baby. And she's just exhausted from being with them all day. And um, I just quickly jump into action, like, whatever it is. I don't be feeding them, put them to sleep, or... Maybe they're like fussy and I just gotta calm them down. Literally, when you focus on your partner, which is what you do all the time when you're like boyfriend and girlfriend and your only priority is just each other, um, it's different because now your whole being goes to being a parent. Like, I mean, I don't know. The thing is that I, I can't really say because I don't know if it's just us because it's two at the same time so it was like a big hit and we went from like everything just being us to now everything just being them so we're so in love and so happy and they're the most beautiful perfect babies in the whole world like literally i'm like in awe i still don't even believe that i have two beautiful perfect babies but it's the most time consuming like you don't uh, it's like it's, you don't breathe it's, it's very stressful it's a good stress but it's stressful i mean eventually it's going to be something where it's like seamless but yeah. as of now, as of now it's, it's it's like no it's, sleep and you just you're just yeah. you're just consumed 100 percent of the time yeah, so. so we just get frustrated and we're just like no sleep and this is an all day thing and let me tell you that it's a lot better than it, it used to be like right now yeah. it's it's significantly better um, but still, you know, it's a different type of consumption of your time. And unfortunately, that means that your relationship takes the back burner. And um, I think that this is a time where you have to stay the strongest that you've ever been. Because, um, you know, it's just like not about you anymore. So it's not like you have the time to like sit there and just talk about everything that you're feeling. And like the patience that you only had for your partner now is like split between two babies and yourself and like and your partner now and your house and everything else so you're just like going a million miles an hour yeah. everywhere else it's just important that if you have uh kids that take breaks um here and there mm -hmm. somebody to help you out um, make sure that, that you keep the relationship number one um because that's what's important So it's just about how the woman's body like like does the whole process with the eggs and all that stuff so our like that how they separate the eggs and all of that it depends on like the fertilization process and but no, we did not pay for our twins no ours how much it is was that just me the, i don't know it's a lot 50k i think it depends it yeah. depends <laughs> the process because obviously God a lot this. yeah it's, it, it just depends but god actually heard one of my prayers okay yeah i was praying for a boy and then i said you know twins wouldn't be bad and i guess he heard that i ran with it and i got twins this is a true story yeah I mean, maybe because we're the parents. Like, I've always wondered that too before I even had twins. Like, how do you tell twins apart? 
personality definitely they're different oh my goodness jesus christ Number they two, have a whole yeah number two they are like they personality they, like, little, little features make like make them different like i feel like jacob has like bigger eyes um he has mommy's and then eyes. caleb has like little chinky eyes like me um slightly slightly yeah and and their heads are shaped a little different like jacob and their hair it has hair. like they have different yeah. hair they have so, different like, little everything things is how you know Jacob has a birthmark that Caleb doesn't have. Yeah, real thing. How Jacob laughs is different than how Caleb laughs. Yeah, Caleb is like literally Jesus Christ. He is. Whew, yeah. He is a lot. Like, <laughs> he's is a is lot. He is me. Where it's all like he jumpy. Is, he's and like Jacob is my personality. I'm just like chill vibes. Yeah. No. We're never having more kids. I, we can't even have the two. I don't think we're ready for three. No, listen. I'm going to tell you something. Realistically, when we first met and everything that we planned yeah. prior to becoming parents. We, we both didn't know what, what the work was. No, no, no. But, like, also, let me say something. We had two at a time. Like, two at a time is not the same thing as one at a time. Not that one at a time is not a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But like, I don't know how to I don't know how to put it in other terms. Like I I change one diaper and then done. I it yeah I change one diaper and then I go put that baby down and then if that baby's crying he's gonna have to relax for a little bit because I have to change the other diaper <laughs> and then after that I put one to sleep and then I'm like accomplished and then I have to go put the other baby to sleep and then that one wakes up and then I go back to the other one and then I'm so, so we're not having no more kids because I'm done after this <laughs> I'm done I'm done we're blessed. But we're blessed one time with two kids, and that's it. It's over. We're a family of four, babe. Everybody else is a family of four, and they're happy. Why do we have to have five? So my dad keeps thinking that we're going to, in a couple years, we're gonna that we're going to change. He made a $1,000 a bet I always me. wanted, yeah, he did. I always wanted to have two boys and a girl, but now I'm seeing all the work, and I'm like, if we're finally finished with them, like, why the hell would we want to start all over again? Let me tell you something. Your day, in general, your day is filled with so much you're like running around so much like just being a mom and then on top of that like you have to be a wife and then you have to be uh like you have to take care of your home and you have to do so much to be every role in your life that when you finally get to sleep which in reality i still have to wake up we still wake up in the middle of the night to do feedings and do all of that stuff you think I'm gonna have more kids after I get to finally sleep through a straight night like absolutely not I, I no no so then I could do this all over again again and again and again and again and then after my kids I have experienced and I have loved this this like this is a lot but I'm loving this I, I am blessed that I get to be home that I get to take care of them that I get to experience every single milestone, that I get to see everything firsthand. Like, no one has to tell me anything. I get to see it, I get to experience it. I get to witness everything from my two beautiful babies. I don't want to, that's it. I get to do this one time, like, I got it. I'm experiencing it, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. I'm going through it, but I'm happy and I'm blessed and I'm loved and my babies are loved and I'm good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no more as of now. No more. I don't know what. Stop saying like, as of now because no, that makes thing, it seem the, like. No, the reason why I say as of now because, you know, like things always change. Like life always changes. Like we're just thinking about right now at the moment. Who knows if later on, like we're just like, yo, well, let's do it. So I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. So, I think I'm good. I think if right anything, now, your mind will not. change, but my mind no, will stay. I think as of right now, absolutely not. But like I said, I don't know what our minds will think three, four years from now or something. Wow. Get help, like I said that before. Get all the help that you can, all the help that you need. Friend, cousin, whatever. Not to babysit, but just to help you with anything. Wash dishes, cook something for you, wash something for you helps a lot so definitely get help number two don't get no um button onesies get the zipper <laughs> zipper ones because <laughs> night you're gonna go crazy trying to fucking button up shit you'll have a sleep and then you don't do that so definitely zipper over buttons all day every day 
Number three. Make time for yourself and your partner. Always. Um, you can't forget that you guys had a baby or had babies for a reason. Because you love each other, you want to be together and all of that stuff. So yeah. don't just throw your partner on the other side. You're going to have different parenting styles, which you will figure out <laughs> after you have the baby. But, um, but like, don't forget, you love them. Yeah. You want to be together. You want to, like, you're still a person. You're more than just a mom. You're more than just a dad. You're, you, you need to make time. You need to make time for each other. Make time for which each other. Which leads into number four, which is patience. Just make sure that you ask God to give you patience. Because yeah. you're going to need all the patience in the world, especially at three in the morning. Yeah. When you have a sleep, babies are crying, and you don't know what to do. Patience, patience, patience. Um, and number five is birth claws. Make sure you get a lot of birth claws. And because poppies, that's like the best thing They're going to throw up all over your clothes. Jacob, stop.